How's it going guys? Before we get started today, we have partnered again. This video is sponsored by Zero FG Energy, their amazing energy drink and their merch, which is insanely comfortable. I've been working with Zero FG for a little bit now and their brand, I really like it guys. I really like their brand. Guys, the drink is really, really good. Like it, I, I, I told you guys, I've, some of you guys have told me that it's, it's really good. Surprised me, honestly. I'm not like a big energy drink guy, but when I go to the gym and stuff, I do I do drink energy drinks, and, and this has been really, really good. The merch is really, really solid. So you can see here, um, they, they have some merch as well. Now, there's going to be a massive sale, 50% off on everything you see on the website for merchandise. All you have to do is use code LIVEFREE50 in all caps. LIVEFREE50, all caps. You will get 50% off on all merch, including this hoodie, including the hats. I have one of the hats right here. The hat's original price is like 25 bucks, so you could get this snapback for basically $13. It's a very solid quality snapback. Like it's not, it's not cheap, it's very solid quality. Good snapback, I, do I look good? I'm not, you know, am I a snapback guy? I'm more of like a trucker hat guy, but if I'm walking my dog, I feel like I go like this, go backwards. This is what I usually look like when I walk my dog. But yeah, 50% off guys on all merch. It's, it's really, it's a good brand. The logo's cool, the hoodie's comfortable, just, the drink's good. It's a really solid brand. They also support the channel. So guys, do me a favor, go support them. Link's in the description down below. Use code LIVEFREE50. And thank you, Zero FG, for sponsoring the video. I uploaded a video yesterday saying goodbye, Tyler Reddick, in the NASCAR 2022 career. Go check that out uh, if you haven't already. But I, that, that, I don't have, like, I, I don't have 500 vision and being able to predict the future. I did not know that the next day... Goodbye Tyler Reddick was actually going to be a thing because it's broken out today that Tyler Reddick, you know, who is supposed to be going to 23 XI racing in 2024. And I made the joke yesterday. I was like, you know, we're going to kick him out now. Well, that's actually happening. It actually is. He is going to get kicked out of RCR. The contract will be bought out and he will be going to 23 XI racing a year early. Again, I, I didn't know, like, I didn't know that could actually... I, what timing? Before we go any further and talking about p p kicking people out, uh, let's not kick out the Patreon members. Thank you guys so much as always for supporting the channel. As always, as always you guys do. Subscribers, commenters, likers, Instagram followers, Twitter followers, you guys are all the best. Let's get into this. We're going to talk about this now. I have a lot of opinions to talk about. So this is the tweet that uh, was released at 930 this morning. Uh, it is from Lee Spencer. And he said, hearing uh, Tyler Reddick's contract has been bought out from RCR Racing and he will join 23XI Racing next year. The announcement is expected this weekend at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Huge, huge news. He's very reliable, and right off the bat, you go you go to the to the you know replies, and you see right here. Guess that means that Kurt is going to retire, and uh, good old Ashley over here, who is a Denny Hamlin fan. Uh, unfortunately, that is what I am thinking as well. So there's two sides to this, and let's start with I guess the more serious side is is definitely is Kurt Busch. Now it still is a possibility that 23XI goes to three cars, but that's very unlikely, especially since this deal was meant for 2024 to get Tyler Reddick into 23XI racing. So if it's happening in 2023, then the, it, the writing is basically on the wall. You, you simply can't prepare a third car out of the blue in October and get it ready for February of 2023. It's just, there's too many things that go into it. And so unfortunately, you know, Kurt's been pretty quiet recently. He hasn't, you know, come out. He hasn't come back. It's been a few months now. Remember, his incident was at Pocono. So that was even before the playoffs started. It was a long time ago now. And um, Kurt's, he was already towards the end of his career. You know, he was thinking about retirement before. But it seems like the concussion that ended up messing up his vision. And, you know, he hasn't been able to get back in the car. He's probably seeing a lot of experts and doctors and advising him on what to do. Uh but let's not forget, Kurt Busch is a legend of the sport. I mean, he is a cup champion. He's a Daytona 500 champion. He's won an endless amount of races. He's gone through the highs. He's gone through the lows. He's gone through personal issues. He's gone through professional issues. He, But he's rebounded. And especially over the last few years, you could see like Kurt Busch really has just matured into a, a really awesome person. Uh, and he's been great for the sport, as has, you know, Kyle Busch as well, the both Busch brothers. So, you know, yes, everyone could be excited for Tyler Reddick going to 23XI, but this, you know, it comes as an unexpected, you know, development 
because Kurt Busch got hurt. That, that's the simple fact. I, I don't think he would have retired at the end of this year if he was completely healthy. I thought he would have would have done one more year. And, and the deal between 23XI Racing and Tyler Reddick showed that. The, the point that Reddick was joining in 2024 showed that Kurt Busch probably told them, like, you know, I want to do one more year and then I'll go. Then the injury happens. Everything gets thrown up in the air. Uh, RCR goes ahead and signs Kyle Busch for 2023, which means Reddick is, doesn't know what he's going to do. And Kurt Busch is sitting on the sideline with that concussion. And, you know, maybe, uh, not speculating, but what it looks like, 95% confident that what's going to happen is he, he maybe has been getting second opinions and he himself is just not comfortable with coming back. And when you are at the end of your career like Kurt Busch is, he has nothing else to prove. He's already won a Cup Series championship. He's already won the 500. He has nothing to prove. He's a legend. He'll go into the Hall of Fame. The only reason he is still racing is because he wants to. And arguably, that's the best position any driver could ever wish to be in, is that you race however long you want to, and you can call it quits whenever you want. To have that ability to do that is really, really special. Now, unfortunately, that might be taken away from him because of the injury and the concussion, but he was in that position. He was in that position where he could tell Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan, I want to race one more year, and they let him race one more year. He did a great job for 23XI Racing. He's been a great mentor to Bubba Wallace, and, and Wallace is going, has been, you know, I, don't, I can't think of a better teammate for Bubba Wallace than Kurt Busch because you have someone with so much experience and so much know-how to help Bubba Wallace, who's now in a competitive ride, and help him mature and get faster and, and, and one day hopefully lead that team. And you can see this season, Bubba Wallace's performances have been way better than what he's done in previous seasons, and I think a lot of that has to do with Kurt Busch being his teammate. And so he's been great for the team. And, and so I don't want to, you know, I, I think I've, we've talked about this long enough right now already. I don't want to go into, you know, celebrating whatever Tyler Reddick does without acknowledging that this does come at a cost. And it basically comes at the cost of Kurt Busch's career. And I wish him all the best. And I hope when he comes out and, you know, says something, you know, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. And it's a, it's a three car team, hopefully. Um, but that's it's. Very, I mean, we give it a 2% chance maybe that's a three-car team. It's very unlikely that's going to happen. And uh, it makes me really sad because, you know, Kurt Busch is one of those guys. I've, I've watched throughout the years. I've watched, uh, I think, you know, when it happened with Carl Edwards, that one hurt me because that one came unexpected. But, you know, I saw, I saw Mark Martin go, you know, and then I saw my favorite driver and Jeff Gordon go. And then I saw Dale Jr. go, and then I saw Jimmy Johnson go, I saw Tony Stewart go, and, and that's my childhood. Like, all those guys, Greg Biffle, Matt Kenseth, like, all those guys, they just go one by one by one by one. And those are the guys that were the stars of the sport when I was growing up. And Kurt Busch is part of that. He won the 2004 championship. He was part of that. He went to Penske. He went to, you know, through the lows of, you know, his, his mental health issues and then came back and, 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 you know, goes to SHR, goes to, to 23XI and, and all that. And, and so he's one of those guys. He's with like the Gordon and the Kyle Busch and, and the Junior and the Johnson and the Stewart and, and Edwards and Biffle and Kenseth and all those guys that I grew up watching. And one by one, each one just goes. They just retire, they leave, whatever happens. And there's only a few of them left. Kurt Busch was one. Kevin Harvick is probably the other. And then after that, I mean, I feel like Truex is a little bit after that. Like when Truex really hit like his prime with the 78 car, that was just a little bit later. It wasn't really in the, you know, he was with, you know, CGR and everything in, in the mid to late 2000s and stuff, but he wasn't really super competitive. So like, Kevin Harvick's the last one from that era that um, that I, I I grew up with, and so it, it hurts. You know, it, it's tough. You get old. You know, it's like it's a tough thing. I, I wish Kurt Busch all the best, and and you know, there's still a slight chance it doesn't happen that he does come back, but it, it, it's not looking likely. We move on to Tyler Reddick, who will be going to 23XI Racing uh, next year in 2023, according to to Spencer in his report, and. Guys, remember when I said uh, a few years ago when Larson went to Hendrick and I, I kept saying this. I was like, you, you guys can't let Larson go to Hendrick. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I know Tony Stewart tried extremely hard to get Larson at SHR, but Ford and the executives, the, the business suits, they were like, eh, no, we don't want to touch him with all the baggage that's there. And that was a huge mistake. 
Um, and you know, he wins the championship in 2021, dominates all that. And yeah, he, you know, he's been struggling a little bit this season, but still having Larson at Hendrick is, is one of the biggest mistakes the rest of the field ever did. Cause that's one of the best drivers there. Now I said that it came true and hopefully people listen to me. I'm not saying Tyler Reddick is, is one of the best talents ever. And he's going to go win a championship at, at, at 23 XI racing. But what I will say is I'm very confident that Tyler Reddick will be a championship contender next season. Very confident. And if I'm wrong, then I'll, I'll hold my hands up and admit it. I am very, very confident that Tyler Reddick will be a championship contender next season. I'm telling you, I have a good feeling about it. Now, you know, whether it's my lack of belief in RCR and what, what they usually do and, and how I maybe think Tyler Reddick's been carrying them, I don't know. But I think this kid has has just an insane amount of talent. I've met him before uh, at Phoenix, I think, and it, he's just an awesome guy, um, very likable guy. And I, I'm just I'm fully on board. Him with Toyota, with Denny Hamlin backing him, with more 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 importantly, an extra year for 23xi because every year 23xi get under their belt the better they will become because people forget it's, this is still a very new team that are that still have to learn. They are essentially just an affiliate of Joe Gibbs Racing. They have the same equipment. They have the same speed. So if you think that Denny Hamlin and Christopher Bell and all those guys and Truex can be championship contenders, well, both drivers at 23XI Racing can be as well. They just need time. They just The organization just needs a little bit of time to get going. And next season will be their third season. And I, I'm telling you, with Tyler Reddick there, with Bubba Wallace having another year under his belt, you've seen how good Bubba Wallace has been in the second half of the season. I expect him to take a, a, another leap. But Tyler Reddick, I think Tyler Reddick in the 45 car is going to be very very special. I'm expecting multiple race wins. I'm expecting championship contention, possibly an appearance in the final four. Check, come back to this one year later. See if I'm right. I'm very, very confident. I don't think he's going to flop. I don't, I, I'm happy to be honest that this move is happening. I did. I didn't want that one year of Reddick being stuck in the eight or not the eight and stuck in RCR with it, with an owner that doesn't want you with a team that knows that you're leaving. It's a toxic situation. And I was worried for him about that because whether you like it or not, taking essentially a year off and just racing for a team that they don't want you, it, it does harm. You don't want to get in that that rhythm of a whole year. It's like a gap year before you can actually go to where you're going to go. Now that if this is happening and he is going to 23XI Racing and he gets to, to go from the start in 2023 and just get to it, I'm telling you guys, man, I'm, I'm very excited for this driver with this team. I think this is a superstar in the making. I said it about Kyle Larson going to Hendrick. I don't think he's going to reach those levels. He's not going to win eight, nine, 10 races in a season and win the championship. I don't think that's going to happen, but multiple race wins, strong week in, week out, and a favorite for the championship, I think definitely can happen. You know, maybe around the four, four to five win mark. I think if everything goes really, really well, Four to five wins is where he can get at. It's very, very difficult in this day and age in NASCAR with all the modern racing and the cautions and the chaos that goes on to win these races. But I think it's very possible. He's won multiple races at, at RCR this season. He's great on the road courses. He's great at the intermediate tracks. Needs to improve on the super speedways a little bit. You know, he's not great at the super speedways. He's not to the level of a Denny Hamlin or a Chase Elliott or a Brad Keselowski or a Joey Logano and all those guys who know how to maneuver themselves around the super speedway. He's more the level of Kyle Larson where you know he's probably not going to win. You know, so you want to get him to just get a little bit better at those super speedways. But everywhere else, everywhere else, this guy is very, very very talented. I'm very excited to see what he does alongside Bubba Wallace with that 23XI racing team. This team, I'm telling you, over the next five years, I, I have very good feelings about this team, man. With with Michael Jordan and Denny Hamlin at the helm, they don't care about losing money. They will spend the money to, to win races. Jordan wants to win. He doesn't enter net. The guy's a goddamn billionaire. He doesn't want money. He wants to win. That's all he wants to do. And so when you have an owner like that, same thing like Justin Marks at Trackhouse Racing. Same thing like Rick Hendrick at Hendrick Motorsports. They want to win. And I, I just think, you know, those three teams, especially Trackhouse, 23XI Racing, Hendrick Motorsports. Hendrick will always be up there. But Trackhouse and 23XI Racing, I'm very excited for their, their futures. I'm very excited for Tyler Reddick's future. I think he's going to be great. So let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. What do you think? Uh, it, it's, it's a move that I'm very excited for. 
on the other side, I'm very sad for Kurt Busch if this does mean that it's the end. Um, and, you know, that's just, what else can you say? It sucks. Like, there's nothing else you can say. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Check the link in the description below for Zero FG Energy as well. Remember, 50% off on all merch. That's a great deal. So check that out. Take care of yourselves. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.